Thank you very much. Um, uh, Mel Watt, I uh, really wanted to spend my time on affordable housing trust fund, but I must step in here uh, to basically ask, uh, when we take a look at uh, those that uh, we would lend to with a 3% down, are we not talking about people who have shown that they pay their bills every month, they have basically good credit, uh, they have not defaulted, they don't have any bankruptcies, they just are not able to save up uh, a 10 to 20 percent as some more wealthier people are able to do. But these are good, hardworking taxpayers. Are these the kind of people you are talking about? Uh, that's, that's exactly the kind of people that we would be looking for, and uh, we would pair that with uh, strong credit scores, lower debt to income ratios, um, housing counseling, and, um, and private mortgage insurance, all of which would uh, put together uh, compensate for the fact that you are uh, making a loan to somebody uh, with a lower down payment. And um, uh, we have no interest in going back to irresponsible lending, and it's part of our statutory mandate to make sure that that doesn't happen. Thank you. I think um, that even though I don't have the, the data or the information, that a large part of our society fits into that category, and they deserve to be homeowners uh, if, in fact, they are hardworking citizens who pay their bills, <clears throat> who have not had any problems. Uh, a 3 percent down payment should not cause us any problems at all. Let me get to the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. I'd like to commend you on your recent decision to follow the requirements set forth in the Housing and Economic Recovery Act of 2008 and lift the suspension on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac's obligation to fund the National Housing Trust Fund and the Capital Magnet Fund. As you are well aware, we are in the worst rental housing crisis in this nation uh, that has ever been seen. In the richest country in the world, it is unconscionable that there are 7.1 million American households for whom safe and decent housing is neither affordable nor available. In my own district alone, there is a shortage of nearly 43,000 affordable and available rental units for extremely and very low income uh, households. These critical new funds will not only add <clears throat> to the supply of affordable rental housing, but will also help to address homelessness and poverty across the country. Please talk to us about what factors you considered in coming to your decision to end the suspension of contributions to the funds. Uh, Ranking Member Waters, I simply followed the statute. Um, the statute tells us the exact circumstances um, or the criteria to be applied on the suspension of the um, uh, contributions to the Housing Trust Fund, and it tells us uh, the criteria that to be applied under uh, normal circumstances uh, for funding. Uh, and that's um, um, whether they are contributing, uh, whether the, uh, the contributions to these funds uh, would contribute or are contributing to the financial instability of the enterprises. Uh, whether they are causing or would cause the enterprises to be classified as undercapitalized, or whether they are preventing or would prevent the enterprises from successfully completing a, uh, completing a capital rest restoration plan. Those are the statutory provisions. Uh, they are the same provisions that Mr. DeMarco applied appropriately, in my opinion, at the time that they were applied to suspend contributions to the trust fund. They are the same criteria that I applied appropriately, in my opinion, to reinstate them because circumstances have changed uh, in that interim. Uh, so I simply followed the statute. Um, uh, that's all I did. Well, uh, thank you very much. That's very important to know because there are those, some of my friends on the opposite side of the aisle, uh, would have us believe uh, that you have uh, done something outside of uh, your statutory um, requirements or mandates. And uh, so I'm very pleased that you were able to clarify that. Um, and I think it's going to be, if we can um, get this implemented, it's going to be very good for this country. I yield back the balance of my time.